Hey guys, um, slightly impromptu video here, I'm just having a bit of a clear out um, in the garage and I thought it'd be a good time to talk about actually how I got my charge point installed because actually it can be a bit of a faff. So when it comes to electric cars you're going to need a charge point in your house and that's actually one of the main drawbacks for electric cars really. Not everyone has the luxury of having a driveway or an off-street parking so there's obviously a lot going on to sort that out. Um, innovative companies coming up with things. Um, but if you do have off-street parking and you're considering an electric car then you can actually get a government grant towards uh, some of the cost um, for, for that. Um, it's called the OLEV grant and actually a lot of the time car dealers will tell you you're getting a free charge point. It's not a free charge point, it's a government scheme. They're just maybe having a deal with um, a charge master or another one of these uh, fitters and what they'll then do is get you to fill in an OLEV grant application form um, and you will get uh, either a free or nearly free charge point. Now the car dealer may put in uh, some of the cost depending on the charge point you go uh, for. Sometimes they're 100% covered by the grant, sometimes they're not. We went for a Zappi and that's not. We had to pay the difference but it was still a lot cheaper than paying for the whole thing ourselves. So that's what we did. Now with the grant um, you do still need to have certain things covered um, and one of the things is that the, the grant really only covers a, a very basic installation of a charge point. So if you've got any additional electrical work to do, you may need to um, pay for that yourselves. Now, as you can see up behind me, um, I've got a fuse board in, in the garage here. Now, that was not there um, before we had our electric car. And I had to pay for that out of my own pocket. So. I didn't want some company coming in and running a massive cable around the outside of my house making it look awful. Uh, so what I did was I actually paid for um, that to be installed and the wires to be run through my house which meant all my floorboards had to come up. Now of course your mileage is really going to vary on this right? It, it's purely down to the layout of your house where your car is uh, compared to your fuse box now uh, or consumer unit sorry fuse box consumer unit if you're an electrician um, my consumer unit is over the other side of the house so it, it's just miles away from 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 where the car is so um, any kind of cabling from that consumer unit uh, would have had to have sort of traverse the entire house so actually what I decided to do was because I've got a bit of a workshop going on in the garage anyway, it was probably a good idea to sort of start to separate the supplies out, uh, have uh, separate uh, breakers for the garage sockets and an RCD and all that jazz um, in, in in the garage. Now, um, I put a box that was big enough to have a couple of spare ways, one for the EV charge point and one for perhaps the second EV charge point if we uh, go and get another car. Um, so the message really here is that when you go and um, uh, investigate getting an electric car, grants are available if you've got off-street parking. Um, but they won't cover the cost of anything else that you have to do. So do consider that. One of the other things that you'll, you'll need to do when you're um, applying uh, for an OLEV grant is to um, uh, show them pictures of your driveway, um, you'll be asked also by the uh, company fitting it whether you've got a uh, 100 amp fuse, you'll be asked to take pictures, you'll be asked to take pictures of all of your fuse boxes, maybe even draw a little map of how, how, they're, how they're all set up. Um, so there's a little bit of work to do but actually it's not too bad and it's well worth the, um, well, well worth the effort because you'll be getting, um, uh, you'll be getting you know, a good amount of money off um, the uh, the, the charge point. So um, I, I had done a video about this in the past but I never really published it on YouTube because it was terrible. Um, so I really should have done a video about this sooner because actually it's one of the kind of fundamental things that you, uh, you, you will need to do. The other thing I'd say is if you're, 
if your uh, car dealer does say you're getting a free charge point, um, then ask them exactly how that is. Um, are they just going to go and do the OLEV grant uh, for you and then they're going to give you a really rubbish, cheap as chips charger um, that you know is covered by the complete grant? Or are they actually going to you know pay up a little bit more money um, to, to make up the difference? Um, so uh, just you know ask questions like that and also you can say no thank you. So if you want something like a Zappi, which is what we went for in the end uh, from uh, My Energy, we actually said to the car dealer, yep, yeah, thanks very much, but we'll do our own OLEV grant. Thank you very much. And, and we went and did that uh, all by ourselves. And we got a load of money off uh, the charger. I think, um, you know, from memory, it was going to cost something like £700 for the installation. And I think it ended up costing us about £300. Now, that doesn't include all of this work because essentially what happened was the installer this was all done before the install uh, happened and all that they did was they plugged in the, the cables to the uh, to the zappy from here and went over to the the zappy charger which is just uh, on the other side of this wall here so it's really um it, it's really worth doing a bit of homework and if you want the installation done just so um, then it's also worth paying a little bit extra and getting it done yourself. Now you might be lucky, um, you might have, and a lot of houses do, they have their consumer units actually in the garage already. Some of them have in the, the hallway at the front of the house. Um, ours is actually in the kitchen over the other side of the house, which is um, great for the cooker and everything, but it's not great for EV chargers. But of course, they weren't really thinking about that when they built this house. So. Just a little video there about the charge point. Um, I thought you know that might be useful for people considering getting an electric car because I think it is a bit of a consideration. It's actually um, one of those things as well. Where if you're moving house, um, you know when you sign up for the grant, um, there's some information there about you know whether you'll have to pay it back um, in 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 certain instances. Um, for example, if you don't live in the property for I think it's 12 months or something like that. So there's there's some considerations there around um, you know that that kind of thing as well. So you know have a look at the the, the um, OLEV grant. I'll stick a link in the uh, description below. It's actually a while since I look at looked at the stuff, so you might want to check all that. Um, but I'll put a link to it in in the in the description below, and you can see what you you need to do. Also, go and have a look at your local independent installers. Um, I found that I had a real nightmare with charge master uh, had a guy come out and do a survey on the on the uh, on the system here he was a really nice guy um, and he 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 was really happy with the electrical work that had been done didn't see any problems um, but unfortunately uh, when he wrote down something on his uh, on his log um, about the, uh, the some ducting that was going to get put in um, to the location of the charger that got misunderstood by the uh, the kind of central office team at Charge Master as being um, uh, something that they needed to wait to happen, um, and so they never actually turned up to install the charger, which actually turns out to be a blessing in disguise because the Zappi for us, because we've got that solar installation, is much better. Um, it is much better um, for for our for our purposes because it can uh, take energy from the sun when it's shining. And put it directly into the car um, and um, we can really choose how much uh, of the grid energy that we want plus it's got timing features which means we can then use our octopus go um, uh, and we can pro program in the timings there and it will boost um, a load of 5p per kilowatt hour energy into the car um, between half past midnight and half past four in the morning so it's um it's working well for us but you know have a little think about where things would need to be in your house get a perhaps an electrician round um, as you're considering it check that you've got a hundred amp fuse um, in your property I think they can also uh, let you have um, I think some people have gotten away with slightly lower than a hundred amp fuses um, maybe 80 amp fuses but if you've got 60 amp fuse on your incoming supply then just check that out with your local energy supplier so whoever supplies energy whoever looks after the energy network in your part of the world um, because you may well need them to come and change that and sometimes that can actually have massive implications onto the supply feed coming into your home because clearly it needs to be able to support 100 amps um, you can't just change the fuse because you just melt something out in the road if you try to draw 100 amps so um, 
you know there is an uplift required uh, in the home if you live in a fairly modern home like this one then you, you know you might not have a problem um, if you live in something a bit more um, uh, characterful then you might have some issues there so you know there's a few things to consider um, there's plenty of advice that you can get from your local uh, installers um, but you know definitely something to consider as you're maybe thinking about going to an electric car anyway um, I just thought I'd talk about that for a bit um, because I was in the garage doing some stuff anyway and it seemed like a, something I hadn't covered um, so uh, I hope that was useful give it a like any questions put them in the comments below I'll try and answer them if I haven't answered it already um, and we'll see you in the next one